Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel, it's Tom over at Gus uh, Today we're on a Volkswagen Golf R So it's a 2 litre petrol TFSI engine uh, The vehicle come in to us with a misfire, I'll see if I can put a clip on now So misfire, cylinder free, so plugged it in, the diagnostic, cylinder free misfire. Uh, the customer had already tried a call pack and a set of spark plugs, uh, still misfiring. Now these engines, being direct injection, can suffer build up of carbon on the valves. Normally I'd expect to see misfires on all cylinders uh, when I go into the misfire counter. This was just cylinder free misfiring all the time. Um, I'll put a clip up now if I can. So I suspect the injector, um, in order to get to the injector, you've just got to remove the intake manifold. So the intake manifold is removed, um, then what I've done is I've sent the injectors away to be tested, and sure enough, injector 3 was faulty got my new injector there from Volkswagen and I've had the other three injectors all cleaned I've put new seals on them uh, new Teflon seals get their little repair kit from Volkswagen they have modified them slightly uh, when I remove the old injector you can just see all the plastic retaining uh, clamps all cracked that was cracked on all four like I say, you can get repair kit for the injectors where you get new seals, uh, Teflon seals, clamp. So they all changed. Got our intake manifold gasket there to go on. And all the gaskets we need. Now these engines can suffer build up of carbon on the valves. So I'll just show you cylinder free see if you can see in there you can see all the carbon build up on the back of the intake valves so this can cause a misfire uh, rough running from cold i've had cases uh, where they where they've been worse than that and you can just watch a misfire count and just see all cylinders creeping up slightly So in order to get rid of the uh, carbon, what we use is a walnut blaster machine. I'll just show you a couple of valves I've already done. So there are a couple of walnut blasted already. Just see it's got rid of all the carbon. And then there is cylinder three yet to do. So like I say, all that does is just use walnut shells. Uh, we blast that in there, obviously make sure that the valves are closed. We found that's the best method of cleaning these. So we've been a direct injection engine, um, pre-direct injectors would normally like kind of wash the back of your valves whereas the injectors just go sh underneath straight into the combustion chamber and then due to the emissions uh, crankcase breathers going into the intake manifold we can get a bit of oil residue on the back of the valves and then when the engine's running and the valves overlap we can sometimes get a bit of exhaust gases up the intake um, it can sit on the back of the valves, create a bit of soot, and then over time they just get calmed up. So just a quick video really, uh, just to show you the walnut blasting process. Like I say, once you've got the machine set up, make sure the, the valves are closed, and then it's just a matter of getting the right adapter for the engine, um, getting a good seal, and then 
just worn up blasting the back of the valves. So just the injector required on this one for the misfire, but while we got the intake manifold off, uh, it makes sense just to clean all the valves. Uh, customer knows it's a bit of a known issue on these engines, so uh, while it's all off, we'll clean all them up, um, ensure there's no misfires, and then this one is good to go. But I hope you found the video useful. Uh, let me know if you've had your vehicle walnut blasted or you're thinking about having it done. Like I say, if you've got any misfires, especially from cold, uh, slight misfires worth running there's a good chance that you might need the valves cleaning plenty of companies out there that um, say they can get rid of all the carbon in the engine clean all the valves um, there's no way you're going to clean all that carbon off the back of the valves unless you're going to walnut blast it or remove the intake manifold and soak it in some cleaner and scrape it all off let me know in the comments if you've had it done on your vehicle, if it's made a big improvement. Uh, let me know. And we'll see you on the next one.